Okay, me too. Okay, please continue our talk uh, about the adjustment of gap after climatic climate. So, uh, total neoplasty. So, anyways, the I frankly said uh, the kinematic alignment is a major technique. The priority is bony landmark and the cut the bone in the same thickness as the, the component thickness. And that's all. So to adjust uh, the gap by recut, or minor manipulation of soft tissue, such as uh, strip or posterior capsule or posterior cap cut, but never aggress, uh, detach the MCL aggressively. That is uh, frequently performed in the mechanical lab. Okay. So ideally, we don't touch the soft tissue. That is the idea. So, or uh, remove osteophyte and increase uh, a slightly beta or posterior so we can adjust the in most case even the very very severe contracted uh, contracted and uh, severe deformed cases uh, we can adjust in my only manipulating this is the migrate the bones. So that is a quite different from the other the gap balancing techniques such as in the personalized alignment field, the gap balancing technique is so called the soft tissue respecting approach or functional approach. Okay. So this is a soft tissue respecting uh, that is the cutting plane he decided to based on the gap. This is uh, the technique that is most uh, very, very frequently performed in Japan. Uh, this approach is cut the femur, final the femur first, then cut the tibia in the same thickness uh, parallel to the femur side, femur cutting side. Do you understand? cut the femur and then cut the tibia parallel to the distal tibia cutting surface and uh, the inline traction. Inline traction means just to pull the leg to uh, the uh, leg direction, to the leg, uh, leg uh, longitudinal axis, just to. So if we joint, my operation with the rotor. Interoperatively, I measure the HKA after the bone, uh, femur bone cut and track the leg and measure the HKA on the rotor. In this uh, in this step, I measure this one inline traction. So many Japanese surgeons believe that in this situation, uh, final the femur and pull the leg direct uh, distally. Uh, that should be the, the patient final take care. Okay, do you understand? So, cut the femur and pull the leg. Uh, that is the final target of HKA. Then, so, they cut the tibia part to the tibia. What do you understand? So their final aim of the HKA is HKA on interaction after the finalize of femur side. Then cut the tibia in the same thickness, uh, uh, the parallel to the uh, distal and uh, the same thickness of the lateral side because in most cases, the media side is more uh, thin. -end. Okay, well, this is the one approach. Another one is a restricted kinematic alignment. So, uh, decide the angle with angle limit, alignment limit. Uh, for example, plus minus three degrees from the neutral or mechanical position. 
that should be the same. But there are the two approaches. There are completely different approach. One is de depend on soft tissue balancing. This one. And this one is based on the limit. But unfortunately, we can't use this one without navigation of PSI or a robot. Unfortunately, our ROSA is not a robot. Our Japanese government considers the ROSA is not a robot, but navigation. Because ROSA, the robotic arm, do not does not cut the bone or shape the bone. Only the uh, put the cutting block on the cutting plane. That's all. So then we cut the bone by ourselves. So it is unfortunate. So in the uh, Joanna registration seat, you you check after the operation. Please check in the navigation. Not to check. <laughs> so, 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 uh, so the, there are um, plenty of cases, the previous cases I uh, submitted to the jo uh, Joanna, but most of them are come back and then change the category <laughs> from the robot to the navigations. Okay, anyway, this is uh, very important. So restriction cinematic alignment is very, very effective and very safe, but we require some computer device aided devices. But this one, we don't know any special instruments. This is a very simple. Maybe I show you this picture frequently, previously. So quite simple. So cut the distal femur and cut, draw the line until the surface of the tibia, the parallel to the distal cutting line. Then, uh, tibia cutting block, uh, we set a parallel to this line, drawing line. It's quite simple. But again, the, the aim of this procedure is to make the balanced extension gap, not resurfacing of the tibial side. Do you understand the difference? This procedure is uh, cutting, plane, uh, cutting plane is decided based on the femur side. In other words, it is in, uh, dependent, dependent, it depends on the femur side. But kinematic alignment is independent. The femur cutting plane does the matter. It's not affected by the tibia cutting, uh, femur cutting alignment. And we can decide only uh, looking at the tibia side. That is the difference. But basically, many Japanese surgeons is keep in mind, keep in their mind the gap we should adjust the camp. So uh, their priority is make the balance of gap is uh, at least the in extension. And then the cut the cutting block, uh, the, the parallel to this line. But maybe uh, cutting thickness is decided uh, referring the lateral side. Maybe in the most uh, cases, lateral cartridge, no muscle, or uh, the parallel, but 10 millimeter below the lateral joint line, maybe. Do you understand? But, uh, so what? Uh, this procedure, we decide the alignment. Three degrees in beta, five degrees in beta, or mechanical is, I don't know. But anyway, this line is the part to the distal femur cutting plane, okay? Then, now, the uh, beta angle is decided by this line. Then we can adjust the height or level of the tibial cut, keeping the uh, 
メディア、あらあベイラスライブ。これ一回ここで線引いて、その角度を変えんまま上下して。And decide the cutting level as、uh, the 10 mm below the larger joint line. That is the same as the component thickness. Okay, this is so called soft tissue respecting pneumatic alignment. Another one is to, after the finalized the point cut guide and o p e n cut of the femur and input the trial. Then apply the b a l a n c e stress. Theoretically, we cut the same thickness of the component, at least the lateral side. Lateral side is the intact side. So, of course, I measure the bone thickness after the bone cut. Ideally, that must be, it should be the eight millimeter, because component thickness is nine millimeter, but so great. Thickness is one millimeter. So, eight millimeter plus one millimeter, that is a so great. It equals nine millimeter. So, media、uh, lateral side, the joint line is completely the same. So, in this situation, lateral joint line should be same. Then, the lateral side is normal. We can consider the lateral side is normal. So, then apply the burger stress. And measure this gap using a、uh, curved, curved gap gauge, CGG. So you, you just do you remember the speed is spoon gauge interoperative race. So,、um, I, but I don't really believe that it's, it's a very、uh, effective idea, but, but I, it is my interest. If it d i d n t work very well or not,、uh, because we can use the rotor and we can uh, uh, measure the alignment accurately using the rotor. So I confirm that is、uh, correct or not. Ideally, I increase, I create the thickness of the gauge, HKA、uh, should be changed. One millimeter thicker,、uh, maybe 0.5 degree or the one millimeter bigger in terms of HKA. But sometimes, yes, but sometimes it's not. Now, I s e v e r a l data intraoperatively on the in the future. If the data is correct to more than 30 or 40 cases, so now we can publish the data using this data. Anyway, anyway, most Japanese doctors. Use this one, half the gap gauge, and measure the media space. So, this is the beneficial to,、uh, to uh, compare to the kinematic alignment, c a l p a r kinematic alignment. In the c a l p a r kinematic alignment, we cannot estimate the bone wear. So, in the kinematic alignment,、uh, The estimate of cartilage thickness is only two millimeters, but、uh, do, not consider, do not consider the bone loss, the c a r i p a t i c pneumatic alignment, or because we cannot estimate the amount of bone loss or using the tibia side bone m a r k s t h e r e s no. コスケッソンは分からへん。どれどれだけでいいか。But in this situation, we can estimate the amount of bone、uh, defect. Because、uh, in this situation, in the b a r g a s t r e s s and the r i s t e r the MCL to the、uh, normal length and the tension, just like the OXO procedure. This space should be the cartridge wear and bone wear. So if we insert the f e e d e r gauge and、uh, have a gap gauge of four millimeters, then we can consider 
So two millimeter is cartridge wave and two millimeter is body wave. So uh, if I, I measure this space as uh, so four millimeter, so we can mm, cut the tibia uh, in the four millimeter difference between media and the lateral side. So we, if we cut 10 millimeter on the lateral side, we should cut 10 minus four equals six meter in thickness on the media side. Do you understand? If we can insert spoon gauge in this uh, space of four millimeter, for example. So in this situation, uh, the knee can be normal. It's, it's virtually the same as the pre-disease condition. So if we insert spoon gauge here or four millimeter, the old cartridge and uh, bone wear are compensated already. Of course, using this one in terms of femur side, uh, because we cut the nine and seven, our cartridge wear is already compensated the media side. Then apply media side. Using this one, this one it should be the weight cartridge and bone wear. So if we compensate, compensate for this space, we can uh, reproduce the patient pre disease joints, uh, articular surface. Okay, so cut the tibia four millimeters thinner than the lateral. Okay. Again, this is based on the gap balance. Okay, so uh, the, uh, again, this is the final aim of this procedure is the balance again. But, just a moment, but, but this procedure is, we are focused on the media side only. If the patient has a very lax lateral uh, ligament, that they frequently find in osteoarthritis needs. So, you know, osteoarthritis, media side is something protracted, the lateral side is lax. But in this situation, lateral side doesn't matter because we apply the power stress. So we only the focus on the media side. So many surgeons consider uh, to, to make the stable media side. But lateral looseness doesn't matter. Lateral looseness can be accepted. This is a new concept. So in this uh, similarly uh, to uh, the new concept, so in this procedure, uh, that gets the stable media side. ということ うちらみたいに稽古だけ見てきてるっていうのと違ったら珍しいと思う。でも本間のキネマティックっていうのはそう思うのですよということになります。はい、以上です。以上でございます。はい、